Thanks, Kirk. Good morning, everyone. Legal issues may prolong the murder trial of Kevin Gregson. The defense has rested its case, and normally the judge would ready the jury for closing arguments, but today more evidence may be heard. The judge has asked the jury to be prepared for anything today. Last week, Kevin Gregson took the stand in his own defense. He is charged with first degree murder in the death of Ottawa Police Constable Eric Chapnick. Gregson admitted he killed Chapnick back in 2009, but says it was an intentional and argues it can't be called murder. Ottawa police are on the hunt for a man after an armed robbery at a Vanier gas station. It happened last night on Beechwood Avenue. Police say the man walked into the gas station, pointed a firearm at the attendant, then made off with cash. No one was hurt during the robbery. A Canadian singer let loose on social media after she was kicked off a Via Rail train because she was traveling with her dog. Jan Arden was on her way to Ottawa yesterday morning when Via Rail staff noticed the animal with her. She was dropped off in Oshawa and had to rent a car to get to the capital where she was performing last night. Arden was upset over the incident and vented her anger on Twitter. I seem to think that I tried to sneak the dog on. And at least five employees, and like I said, I was traveling with two of my colleagues, saw this dog. They just didn't. She's so under the radar. Via says only guide dogs are allowed in passenger cars, and Arden's dog should have been flagged before the train left Toronto. We may soon know the true identity of Pierre Poutine. The Ottawa citizen says a suspect has come forward. Pierre Poutine was the name given by a person who set up a robocall account in Guelph, Ontario. Calls from that account directed people to the wrong polling station during the last federal election. Elections Canada investigators discovered Pierre Poutine's internet address. They traced it back to a home and someone has reportedly come forward to own up to the scandal. We're learning more this morning about an American soldier who killed 16 Afghans, most of them women and children. No name has been released, but we know that the suspect is a U.S. Army Staff Sergeant based out of Fort Lewis, Washington. He's married and has two children. The veteran soldier served three tours of duty in Iraq before arriving in Afghanistan three months ago. He turned himself in after the shooting spree and is now being questioned by U.S. military investigators. Into what the motivation of the soldier who is uh, in custody uh, was at the time. The shooting has reignited tensions in Afghanistan with the Taliban promising revenge against the United States. The three biggest tobacco companies in Canada will be in Montreal today, taking on a group of Quebec smokers in one of the biggest civil cases in our country's history. The group of smokers say the companies do not do enough to warn people about the dangers of tobacco. They're taking on Imperial Tobacco, Rothmans, Benson and & Hedges, and JTI McDonald. It's the first time a civil suit has been filed against tobacco companies in Canada, and the stakes are high. The group of smokers is asking for $27 billion dollars in damages. An alleged member of the Hells Angels is in a Panama jail. 49-year-old Michelle Smith was arrested last Friday. The Canadian man is wanted in Canada on 29 charges, including 22 counts of murder. He's been on the run since 2009. Police in Panama say he was captured after a two-month surveillance operation. They are now arranging for his extradition to Canada.